ओके एवरी वन सो हाई एंड गुड मॉर्निंग एंड हियर आई विल जस्ट बी शेयरिंग माई स्क्रीन टू शो यू वॉट ब्लड टेस्ट यू नीड टू डू एज फार एज द पेशेंट हु इज हैविंग एन ओवेरियन सिस्ट इज कंसर्न ओके सो इन दैट एस्पेक्ट ओके इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर ऑल फैमिली फिजिशियंस टू रियलाइज एंड अंडरस्टैंड दैट वेन एवर वी ट्राई एंड टॉक ऑफ एन ओवेरियन सिस्ट द ओवेरियन सिस्ट नो इज गोइंग टू बी ऑफ टू टाइप्स ओके common simple things which a family physician should know the ovarian cyst is predominantly divided either into a simple natured cyst or it is a complex natured cyst it can never be a mixed cyst all right now a simple cyst if it is less than 3 cm okay or if it is more than 3 cm just remember simple cyst less than 3 cm is typically called as a follicle cyst okay this happens due to unruptured follicle of the previous cycle this usually does not require any form of treatment it usually does not require any form of investigations the report will tell you that it is an echoic okay that means it is a clean simple cyst that is what it means all right now if the cyst is more than 3 cm you should remember that in our country in india the most common investigation you should be doing is tsh that is thyroid ओके एबनॉर्मल थाइरॉइड और बेसिकली हाइपोथाइरॉइडिज्म ओके हाइपोथाइरॉइडिज्म इज वन ऑफ द कॉमनेस्ट कॉजेज ऑफ हैविंग मोर देन थ्री सेंटीमीटर साइज सिंपल सिस्ट इन अवर बॉडी अलोंग विद दिस ओके अलोंग विद दिस इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट दैट व्हेन द सिस्ट इज मोर देन थ्री सेंटीमीटर्स एंड इफ इट इज अ सिंपल सिस्ट यू कैन कंसिडर टू डू अ सी ए वन बट आई विल जस्ट राइट डाउन दैट डूइंग अ सी ए वन इज नॉट मैंडेटरी ओके फॉर अ सिंपल सिस्ट usually if the simple cyst is more than 7 cm in size if a simple cyst is more than 7 cm in size then you should do all the investigations which you will do in a complex cyst okay now complex cyst has multiple multiple subtypes okay so as a family physician if i just list down the commonest things which you will see then one is an endometriotic cyst okay endometriotic cyst is also called as chocolate cyst all right then you will have very commonly which is something called as hemorrhagic cyst all right very very commonly seen then you will have something called as dermoid cyst again very commonly seen then you will have something called as mucinous or serous cyst adenoma all right all these are very very commonly seen things and and okay some of the complex cyst can also be suspicious of a malignancy or borderline tumors so now you will have a lot of things which comes under the perspective of complex cyst but whenever you read this report complex which is mentioned on the ultrasound again it is important for you to understand that if it is a complex cyst irrespective of the size okay so the answer is any size of the complex cyst whatever is the size of the complex cyst the following investigations as a gp as a family physician you are supposed to do the first is ca125 remember one thing ca125 is basically a peritoneal marker okay so in any form of peritoneal inflammation ca125 values will be elevated okay the other investigation which you should be doing is a ca carcino embryonic antigen again this is a early marker of malignancy early malignancy marker all right now these are important reports CA one twenty five and CA, but in certain special situations, a family physician should remember that alpha fetoprotein, LDH, beta HCG, and inhibit. These are the other four investigations which we as consultants would like to do in a complex cyst. The primary is going to be just one and two. That means CA one twenty five we will do, CA we will do. These four which I have written down are in special circumstances. Okay, in special cases. Okay, and before I conclude this short session, you should remember that CA one twenty five is also going to be elevated in TB. It is also going to be elevated in pelvic infections. It is also going to be elevated in any form of peritoneal diseases. okay so it is not a 100% marker but it is a predictive marker okay just remember that and finally ideal value of ca125 should be less than 35 okay so if the value is usually more than 
just keep that in mind that is highly suspicious of a complexes and that requires medical attention your patient has to visit the consultant and once the patient visits the consultant the consultant would do the rest of the investigations okay so with that i conclude i hope all of you uh, have gained some benefit from the session further questions i will be answering to all of you on whatsapp thank you so much for joining